Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your 808s glide in Ableton Live. So if you don't know what 808, the 808 glide effect is, or how to do it, or what it sounds like, this is what it sounds like. You hear when the note, you hear when the 808 glides up to the next note, or another semitone. You hear it? Well, that's 808 glide. Alright, well, what you want to do is, you want to go to instrument, grab an instrument, not crack, drag it. Grab a sampler, drag it, whoops, and we want to navigate to our 808, and we always want to make sure our 808s are in tune, so what you want to do is, you want to go to audio effects, if you have Ableton Live 9, drag tuner, What you want to do is hit voices, press one. Now, where it all happens is here, right here. So, you want to hit the pitch tab, go to glide, turn glide on, leave it just about here. And now, where we hit the notes, you hear that? All right, working great. So, now we want to map our macros. First, let's turn our release down. All right. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna first we're gonna put our glide effect. In. We're gonna map our macros. One, two. We're gonna go back to filter. We're gonna put a release volume. Filter type, frequency, resonance, and that's pretty much it. Now we're going to hit the map, well, let's rename this. Let's turn glide time on. Let's turn. Let's we put that up to about 50. We can adjust this accordingly. I'm going to turn the filter back up to that. I'm going to bring this back up to 22. Just about a 22 kilohertz. All right. I'm going to turn our frequency up to about 130. same now what you want to do is add some colors to it you know so gives you a set of organizational skills makes everything look green all right we want to save it set up oh sounds bad ah uh, see where it is
to set up. Yes. Insert a MIDI clip. So make our pattern. Let's do one. Make a MIDI pattern. Let's see here. Pretty simple. Highlight all of it, hit Legato. Now we're gonna add those notes that make it glide. Not there just yet. give you great automation so being that mapping out mapping out and macroing your sounds gives you great automation possibilities so that's why it's good to find you can do really cool effects which are 808s so that's basically how how you uh make your 808s glide in ableton live very simple and straightforward if you have any comments or questions, uh, hit me up below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.